This Hard Disciples baseball highlight is brought to you by Kreis Sparkasse, München, Starnberg, Ebersberg. Pitch. Base is loaded, one out. No score so far. One and two on Wilhelm, the pitch. A little broken bat looper, and it is caught by Manriquez, and that's a double play to end the inning as Goebel runs for some reason towards home plate, and he is doubled off, and that is a huge break for Kevin Treasel and the Disciples. Well, he's uh, currently in the playoffs, got an 8 to 1K ratio and uh, strikes out the first batter. Yeah, he's gonna. Here it comes. A tapper back to Solbach. This could be two. Throw to short for one. Brinks relay to first. In time, double play. Well, based on biblical prophecy, the world is supposed to end today, so uh, I don't see that happening. So there's uh, going to be no game four regardless of what happens. Today. Exactly. Okay. The day before my birthday, I can't Oh, end. they got him picked off first. Chris Goble has beautiful, now made two. Beautiful move by Goble. All right, he's made two. There you see the base running situation. Runners on second and third. There's the 1-1 one, one from Treasel. This is popped up to shallow center field. I don't think it's going to be deep enough to score a run. Thomas drifting under it, and he makes the catch, and nobody's going anywhere. No. That's a big out. This is a scoring opportunity. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runners on second and third. Treasel's pitch. Swing and a miss, the pitch in the dirt, and it was blocked by Thorpe. He tags him out, and that's the end of the inning. Great defensive play by Thorpe. He pounced on that ball in no time. Two and two from Solbach to Nate Thomas leading off the fourth inning in a scoreless game. The pitch, strike three called in the outside corner. And here's the payoff. Swing and a miss, and he got him with, I think, a changeup. That was a changeup for sure. And Palacios was way ahead of that. that. Yeah, that was a good pitch, and that's obviously what B.J. Roper Hubbard was talking yeah, about. Yeah. And Solbach. Solbach has set the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Foul tipped. Nope, it was not foul tipped. The ball was dropped by B.J. Roper Hubbard, and he tags out Pinero, and the inning is over. Is that brisk, cool air? There's a ground ball to short. Could be two. Pinero declined. There's one. The relay to first, and the tag applied. There's two. And that will That's be Ryan sure. Bollinger's game. Swing and a miss. Got him on the changeup again. Strike three. Fastball in the outside corner. Solbach with two strikeouts in the inning and seven in the game. One ball and no strikes. Thomas deals. Swing and a miss. Runner is going. Throw to second base. He's going to be out by 10 feet. Great throw by Thorpe. But Goebel now has been retired on the bases for the third time in the game. Seven, Maurice Wilhelm, Max Schmitz, and Kevin Finn Mainsel. Dangerous part of the lineup. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is four consecutive strikeouts for Marcus Solbach. And ten in the game with one out here in the top of the ninth. A scoreless game. The pitch hit on the ground. That's a base hit to left field between short and third. Max Schmitz will stop at second base. And the Capitals have two on with one out in the ninth inning. Runners on first and second, full count, one out. Thomas is set. A long hold the pitch. Strike three, Strike three. call to the inside corner. And that's the first time we've seen anybody look back at a home play. A fastball, let's look at it on the replay. The Capitals had the bases loaded and one out in the first inning they couldn't score. They stranded two more in the fourth. And they had stranded a couple more throughout the last three innings. And here they have two on in the ninth. And Stummel pops it up to center field. Steinlein drifting back. He's got room. He makes the catch. And the Har fans go crazy. So it comes on to this. Bottom of the ninth inning. Semifinals. No score. What an exciting game. Palacios with a chopper to short, Brink to his left, gloves, cuts across second, throws to first, in time, and we are going to extra, extra innings. innings. And quite honestly, I'm not sad about that. This I'm not fun. sad, this is just an exciting game, and uh, let's so keep it going. Bollinger, should they need it tomorrow. Yep. Here's the 3-2. Ball four is low, and Eric Brink draws a leadoff walk. Tenth inning of a scoreless game here in game three, runner on first base is Brink, 2-0 on Goebel who is not squaring, and he swings and drives it 
deep to right center field. Long run, and that ball lands in the alleyway. Siegler cuts it off. Brink is headed to third base. He will be held. Chris Goble has a double, and the Vaughn Capitals have runners on second and third with nobody out. Thomas says yes to the sign. Here's the line in 3-0. That's low, ball four, they're loaded. Bases are loaded, nobody out. Electric, I've said it before, and it still is true. Curveball, oh. and that hit him, and Bond takes the lead on a bases loaded hit by pitch. Made Sean Thomas definitely not happy with himself. Well, Daniel M. Hunt, he's walked twice and been hit by a pitch. One for three today. And he grounds one back to Thomas. Throw home for one, the relay throw to first, and that is a double play. A huge, huge double play. You're welcome. <laughs> the 01. A bouncing ball back to Thomas with a diving snag. He throws to first, the inning is over. Well, Vaughn is able to score a run on one hit. No errors, trying desperately to get on base to start the 10th inning for the Disciples. They have been able to do nothing against the right-hander Solbach, the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. That is strikeout number 11 for the right-hander. This is as good as it gets from a pitching standpoint. This one inside oh. and it hit him, and Thorpe is on. And the Disciples will take it because Thorpe the tying run, and now you got Siegler coming up to the plate. Three and two on Siegler. Thorpe extends his lead from first. Solbach from the stretch. And the pitch. A bouncer ball back to the mound, could be a double play. Throw the second one, on to first, double play! And the ball game is over, and Bond wins one to nothing. Uh, well, what a game. Great result for Bond, going up 2-1 in the semifinals. And a heartbreaking defeat for Har at home. Well, but you couldn't ask for more from playoff baseball, though. It's semifinals, and what a game they delivered, and the fans are appreciative. And uh, Bond showing their appreciation for the uh, fan support from the Bond fans here in the stadium. And Marcus Solbach pitches a 10-inning two-hit shutout.